Hi guys, welcome back to Mystic Love Tarot and hey to everyone that is new as well. I hope that you are all doing super, super good today. Um, what the reading is about today is the person that you're asking about thoughts about you. It's been a little while since we've done a thought reading and I felt that this is where we wanted to go today. So I hope you're doing really well. Um, those of you that asked for a bump update, she's getting really big now. <laughs> I feel like I'm like nearly there, but I've still got three months to go. So she's out here now. Um getting rather large three months to go well, hunter was like a dead small baby i don't know if you guys remember but he was really small um, and this one i feel like it could be really big but i'm having a i've got to have a cesarean anyway so um but she's doing all right she's doing all right and i'm doing all right i'm just exhausted um <laughs> but needless to say i still went to the pagan festival at the weekend it was dead good it was dead good i made a flower crown if you guys want to see look at this handmade by me um so that was quite fun uh good to catch up with people old and new uh see some old friends see some new friends see some of the, the bands and things like that so it was wonderful right and on that note let's crack on so the person that you're asking about feelings for you feelings for you that's what we're doing their feelings for you and I've got two decks for you to pick from, both goddess themed. I'm being really drawn to the goddesses today for you. Uh, this is deck number one and this is deck number two. Both blue, okay, which is the signifying the communication happening between you guys. Um, it's also an air energy, so it means that messages are being channeled directly from the divine sources. So pick the deck that you are most drawn to. Both as well of these as well have got very mystical symbols on it. You've got the cycles of the moon on here, and you've also got the triads going on. And over here, you've got the triple moon goddess. Okay, so number one, number two. Let's go. So deck number one, it feels forever since I've used this deck. They were sitting at the back of me cover. <laughs> that is something about pregnancy. Knackers your, uh, your lungs. <laughs> it was sitting at the back of my cupboard and I thought, oh, I'm going to use that deck today. So I'm just going into your person's energy. As always, it's a collective reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if you need me for private readings, I am still around for a while before I start maternity leave. What are their thoughts about you? This card's been sitting on my altar, so uh, when I've done altars in the past, you see here, you've got this kind of mark coming up, the first card that jumps out for you. Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, their emotions for you. Ten of Pence, let's get five. Eight of Cups, and let's get one more, their emotions for you. Four of Swords. Okay. So this situation with your person at this moment in time is probably feeling like it's at a bit of a standstill. You're probably feeling that not much has been going on and you don't understand what they're going through, what are their emotions, what's happening, is there any clarity, why have they gone ghost, why have they gone quiet, why are we stuck in a cycle? You've got this very overwhelming feeling of confusion. Now with that, we have a mirroring energy. So your person is equally feeling that. So we've got the Seven of Cups coming up over here, okay? Just Seven of Cups. We've got uh, Chorus the Dog joining us as well. Seven of Cups over here. The confusion that you guys are feeling is echoing onto your person. So both you and them are feeling the same. But I feel it's in a different sense of the way. So you're feeling confusion because you don't know where you stand. And your person is feeling confusion because they're unsure about what they want. Okay? And the reason why they're unsure about what they want is because on one side of things, they see that you have this beautiful connection where you can grow with the Ten of Pentacles. You can grow, you can have the family, you can have the white picket fence, you can have babies, if you want all of that kind of stuff that we, you know, aspire to be your person can kind of see that in the family sense they aspire for that and they see that you could be a really good person that can meet them with that and with the queen of cups over here their emotions for you are very vivid and very real but it's like they are in this kind of polar opposite energy you know it's like this duality they've got the light the dark the good the bad the right the wrong and they're trying to find the middle ground in between because whilst they have these feelings that you guys can be together and it could be great they're acting a bit like a pillock <laughs> said in my best british accent and took a step back from the situation and walked away from it or taking a step away from it 
Now, the reason why is this card, this is where it all sits with. It sits with the Seven of Cups. It sits with confusion and it sits with mind fog, okay? So they're a little bit lost over it. They don't know if this is something that they're ready for, if it's the right time, if they are ready to be in a very serious relationship or not. Um, they're not sure if you guys are totally compatible because I feel like sometimes we have a lot of tension and arguments between you and them or conflict or conflict of interests. And so they get a bit lost over it all. They get very stuck and they don't really know how to progress things forward. One side of things, you've got emotions, so the emotions are there. The other side of things, you've got this poison energy. So we've got, you know, again, the duality, like the emotions that you guys have can sometimes be poisoned by the negativity of things. Throw in a little bit of belladonna. Don't do that. Um, but that's the kind of energy that's coming up over here. Belladonna is extremely toxic. Don't do that, but it's uh, the potion on here with the, uh, the, the negative, the uh, skull and crossbones. I heard spirits say belladonna. Making it a joke. Um, We've got the rose on here, which kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. That, you know, that rose, that rose, the, the last petal blooming, that beautiful divine love you have. You've also got youth being written on here. Okay, so they're like, I'm not getting any younger. What am I going to do? Is this the right thing for me? We've got chocolate cake on here as well for kind of leading up to temptation. So they're like, if I settle down in this relationship, is it going to be the right thing? I want to be um, honourable and honest. So I've got to make sure that all temptations are out of the way. Um, we've got the star, again, seeing the right path. They're also thinking, have they got the right money uh, for you to provide for you? Um, like I said, heart emotions. And again, that kind of level of toxicity that kind of comes from belladonna and poison. Okay, so that coming into it as well well so all of that mixed together all of those thoughts and emotions that are going on here is the reason why your person is acting like a bit of a twip <laughs> and taking a step back from it so they're trying to figure out what it is that they want they're trying to figure out what they want so their emotions are here with the queen of cups their emotions are very very real there's also a psychic connection intuitive connection um, and divine connection happening between you guys as well so bear that in mind so you've got the intensity of that which can lead to all of this confusion over here with your seven of cups with the ten of pentacles this is an ending and a new beginning with regard to family and we've got wrapping up presents and we've got wrapping up gifts they know how you feel about them okay perhaps your love languages aren't aligning and you can read a book on that uh, i think it's called the five love languages can't remember who it's by but i'm sure someone will guide you or google will okay so you've got different love languages that can impact this relationship as well you might not be communicating in the way that you need them to communicate with you so that's why you are where you are and that's their feelings so they've got a real mixed up bunch of feelings going on about you okay and this is why with the eight of cups and four of swords over here they have took a step back or are about to uh, take a step back if it hasn't happened yet i am sorry to be the bear of bad news this will happen give them a, give them space they'll they'll bounce back um but for now they are taking a step back from it all okay so walking away from the situation walking away from perhaps the more toxic thoughts that have been going through their head the more the more intrusive thoughts that have been going on about it they're not feeling good enough it's it's poisonous yada 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 all of that going through their thoughts but they're still climbing hurdles and they're still climbing mountains so it's not over between the two of you it's just having a bit of a breather okay with the four swords it's having a bit of a breather it's having a little bit of healing time spirit um as i'm looking at this card i just got the claire aliens of frankincense so if you can burn some frankincense around you it's really going to cleanse and purify the energy between you and the person that you are asking about so overall their feelings for you are valid they are emotional they are there they are confused they are lost they are triggered they aren't feeling good enough they wanted to wipe the temptations away there is love they're not getting younger um you've got being on the right path you've got i've got enough money to provide for you my heart is full but is this the right connection and that's what's going on in your person's feelings for you so if you want to look at that individually and look at your individual um 
I forget people can't hear what spirits say to me sometimes and I just start giggling and then I'm like oh you can't hear what they said um, life sentences that spirits said they said if you want to look at your individual life sentences just give them a shout give us a shout and let me know um, that's um, making a funny they are just talking about where your life is going not your life sentences ha ha um, <clears throat> so yeah if you want to want to know that then just drop me a message um instagram mr love tarot i'll put all the deets in the comments for you so you can find me and my spirit team okay that's day number one shimmying over to deck number two guys so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on what we are doing today is your person that you are asking about feelings for you what are their feelings and it is a collective reading so obviously take what resonates and leave what doesn't and if you need me for individual readings i'll put all the details in the comments i do do same day return on voice note readings for 10 pound per question on instagram so if you want your answers today drop me a message right what are their feelings for you guys watching four of cups So as the Four of Cups come up, um, I just got the song, Does Your Chain Hang Low? Um, Does It Wobble To And Fro? Do you remember that? I'm sure that was like a bit of a naughty song that we that, that we sang at school as well. Um, but the Four of Cups over here, with that, that symbolism of the chain, um, they are feeling a little bit chained to the situation at this moment in time. So um, they're feeling a bit confused by it, a bit lost. All Cups. Four of Cups. Seven of Cups, Five of Cups, let's get two more, what are they feeling about you? Nine of Pence, and one more, that was a hand slip, there was a, more than one, what are their feelings for you? Tower, right. Shitteth have hitteth the faneth between you guys. Things have probably gone a big peak tongue with the tower over here. Now towers can be big towers, which are separations, divorces, health issues, like the stuff that is unshakable and it takes a while to recover. Big towers. Or we have little towers, which are the arguments, the tension, the conflicts, but the stuff that can be resolvable. So something has happened between you and your person. And if it hasn't happened yet, again, it's a foresight. So I do apologise in advance for those of you that need to know. Again, if you need me, drop me a message details in the comments. So it's feeling a little bit like this situation has had to take flight and then one of you's got burnt or both of you have got burnt. Stuff has happened between the two of you which has caused the situation to collapse around you. And I just got the Eminem song, Love The Way You Lie. I think it was with Rihanna, great song, years old now, show my age. <laughs> but it's that kind of conflict going on between the two of you and the lyrics in that it says maybe this is what happens when a volcano meets a tornado and this is your and your person's energy so you've had you've got these two very strong energies between the two of you you and them and when you go in together and you have this energy merging it can create these eruptions and it can create these dramatic effects and it can create these tower moments happening so you have this conflict that has gone on between the two of you or is about to go on. So things have gone a little bit awry, spirit are saying. Okay, it's a little bit awry at the moment. Now, that's not to say your person hasn't got feelings for you because the first three cards that jumped out were the four of cups, seven of cups and five of cups, all of which are cups and all of which symbolise emotions. So there are strong emotions for you and your person and for their feelings for you. We have a progression route of these emotions. So it does look like there can be healing that happens here and there can be a resolve towards it. But they are feeling quite upset at this point in time. So four of cups over here, feeling fed up with it all. We've got the chain song. They are, ch and, uh, I just got fleet with Mac. We'll never break the chain. So we've got this connection between the two of you where your emotions are very strong, that you are chained towards one another. And Spirit is saying to me, if this has happened in the past where you guys had big arguments, big tensions, big conflicts, and you got back together or you communicated again, there's no reason why that cycle won't continue. So it's not all hope is lost. 
um, it's just that it's it's going through this you're going through a rocky time a really rough time at the moment we've got the rabbits on here that symbolize fertility and growth so there is growth that can happen with this connection even when it's a bit down at the moment five of cups your person is feeling sad and emotional over it all they are also hurt okay so you might have found that they pushed you away that they were like yeah i'm this dead solid person um and so i'm not taking your shit and they've just blanked you or ghosted you or done whatever they specifically wanted to do at that point but that's left you feeling quite hurt and quite upset over it all and they're also feeling it so i feel that they've had a bit of self-sabotage going on and i feel that they have had their walls up Okay, so the walls up means the emotions haven't been able to come down. So they are holding on to what has happened. I also feel there could be resentment over things that have been said. This connection absolutely needs some healing time because they are upset by it. They are upset by what's happened and they are fed up of it and they don't know how to break away from it. So it does look like they will come back. And this is where the seven of pence comes in. Okay, so with the seven of pence coming up over here, we are talking that there can be growth and there can be healing so even though it's a bit dark at the moment the growth and healing will come through and there will be prosperity that comes with that because the nine of pents comes at the end okay so even though it's tough at the moment um your person's feeling a little bit upset about it all the growth at the end shows that things can be fixed between the two of you or you might decide to go your separate ways of it being the nine of pentacles as well you might decide that you've had enough of this bullshit and you don't want to go through it again and you're like yeah you know what i'm done i'm going on it alone I'm going to go my own way okay your own journey but we have got these emotional upheaval that is happening right here and right now so all those emotions that you are experiencing your person is also feeling too okay they are just better at guarding it and hiding it and not allowing you to know how they are feeling so the emotions you got are feeling fed up can't break away very upset over everything that's happened perhaps worrying about what they have said or are about to say seeing that they can get back together with you or, or get with you or things can resolve if you so choose but they have to have this healing first um, and working out what pathway and direction to go down as the end result as the end game you guys i just heard end game by taylor swift you guys can make this your end game you, this can be the person that you <laughs> it's my son that you guys can this can be the person that you spend your life with but this cycle has got to break. It can't keep going on. That level of toxicity that comes with the tower needs to be shared. And these often happen so that we can rebuild and regrow it in a better, more prosperous direction. So wherever you are now is exactly where you need to be and have this time for this healing. Okay, let it all naturally unfill. And if you want to know the future of it, just give me a shout. Um, I'll put all the details in the comments for you. Lots of love, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.